Hello again. This is tutorial number five from GC Content Playlist. And in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to making data frames using pandas. To install pandas, if you are on Windows, you can open command prompt, or if you are on Linux, you just open the terminal and write down pip3 install pandas. So I have it, I don't need it now. You just press enter and that's it. So the first thing to do is to have our variables like the nucleotide variables so that we do calculations for GC content calculation. So we need to assign data to variables like adenine variable, thiamine, cytosine and guanine. So as always, I prefer using list comprehensions. So I write down i.count adenine or i in dna underscore seek so if you follow up the previous tutorials you know how we generated this data earlier so we can copy and paste that three other times for the other nucleotides that we have so we have thiamine cytosine and guanine the same goes for thiamine cytosine and go on in here. Let's print one of them to see what we can get. Save and run that. This is our adenine count for all of the DNA sequences that are in the FASTA file that we've used. So we don't need to try the others because it's the same thing, but you get different numbers. Now we need to have a dictionary to store all of these data in it so that we can use data frames. So we have a dictionary called all nucleotide underscore dict. Well, in Python, in order to make a dictionary, you often close curly brackets and in between that, you supply information. Let's say adenine is adenine, famine is famine and the same goes for cytosine and guanine so that's how you make a dictionary you can print this out to see the content so save and run that this is your dictionary adenine this is the adenine content the same goes for thiamine cytosine and guanine. Right, so we don't need this actually. We just need the dictionary to be built up. Now the pandas can be imported here. You can write down import pandas. You can just say pandas, but the standard way is to write down import pandas as pd. What we need to do is to define our data frame. In pandas, the standard way to define data frames is as follows. You write down df equals pd dot data frame. Just write it this way. Then you supply the dictionary or the data sets that you have in lists. So this is your data frame now. You can print it out to see the data frame. Save and run that. Now you've got your data frame. This is the index, and these are the columns containing adenine, thiamine, cytosine, and guanine values all at once. You can also save this data frame into a CSV file, an HTML file, or Excel file, and etc. So let's save it on a CSV file, so to do so, you just write down df.2 underscore CSV, open plus parentheses, write down the name of the CSV file that you want. So let's say nucleotide or GC content, basically. Calc.csv. This is to tell pandas that you need a CSV file. 
we set the headers as zero or false. If you don't need or you don't want headers. You can also leave the headers as they are. Then you can read from data frames that have been saved from a CSV. You write down df dot or df equals pd actually pd dot read underscore CSV. Now you can read the same file again, right? Then you need to in place this data frame. So you write down df dot in place equals true. So this means that you place this data frame instead of the previous one. You see content calculation is not defined. Let's see what's the problem. Yeah, so we forgot to mention this as a string. There we go. Now, this generated a CSV file. Let's have a look at the CSV file in our folder. You go to the folder that you've saved your Python file. You go to your file and there we go. This is the GS GC content. You open it. See what you can get here. This is our CSV file. By the way, CSV stands for comma separated values. These are the va variables containing the data and this is the index column. So you can open it or leave it as it is. So we don't need it for now. You can also print it out. You can write down print df to see what you can get here. That's it. So these are the variables that we have. Now, we don't need a print statement here. You can just double check with the print statement, but we don't need it. Now for the calculation, we need to calculate the GC content in separate columns, but we need to have other columns instead of having a single column. So you write down G plus C, this is to make a new column, equals open close parentheses, df.g plus df.c. So this means that in this column that we've just generated, sum up the contents of this column and this column and put them in this column, in the GC column. The same can go for AT, write down DF, AT, A plus T. You can write down DF, T like this, plus DF, dot a this way and then create another column the f we name this one as gc percentage for gc count well you can write down round to round the numbers that you will get df gc so this one Divide it by 80 plus GC. This is multiplied by 100. So you multiply this by 100 and round it. You can always print this out. So this is the CSV file before making 
the functional calls containing the GC content. And you can just change it and place it here so that you save it now after the calculations. Yeah, so let's try it this way. And reopen the file. Now the file contains the GC contents. Well, you can open it in Excel or LibreOffice Calc. I'm using LibreOffice Calc because I'm working on Linux. And that's how you do the calculations and GC content preparation for multiple files. So this is the FASTA file number one, FASTA file number two. So these are the DNA sequences put in a single FASTA file. So basically this is the process of making a GC content or calculating GC content using Python and Pandas data frame. Thank you.